My name is Jimmy. What's up, you guys? Jim here, back at you with another review for Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2. And uh, this is episode 16, titled Afterlife. Now, before I get to the review, I want to let you know I will be talking about the episode to kind of express some of my thoughts and shocks and awes and whatnot about the episode. So if you haven't watched it, just be warned. Spoiler alert. Now, in this episode, um, we actually uh, get to see this place that these um, inhumans are taken to, which um, you know, one of the people tells Scott that it's Chinese, but they call it afterlife, which you know kind of explained that she is so special because other people. They're like chosen once every few years, where she was transformed by the mist in a Cree temple. Yeah, uh, but this guy kind of shows her how a little bit about the place, kind of shows her that she could eventually learn to control her powers in a way so that they're not seem like destru all about destruction. Uh, but eventually. Um, she kind of uh, figures out that Raina and her father are there. So she goes into Raina. They confront, and boom! We see a familiar face. Sky's mother. The woman that's supposed, that Whitehall's supposedly cut up into pieces. Yeah. So that was a little bit of a shocker. You know, uh, which for that, it kind of, I'm like, what? What? I mean, you could tell she has scars, so maybe she has some regenerative type of abilities. I mean, that would explain why she has scars, but it's like, you know, all the stuff that her father did, um, that Sky's father did, uh, it's like everything he did, because when, you know, uh, both her mother and father kind of talk to each other, he's like, it is Daisy. You know, uh, but uh, he acted like she was never dead. Unless he's seen her, had seen her while they were there once before. But still, that is a total shock. I mean, I thought she was dead. So, it's kind of going to be interesting because I'm pretty sure Sky's going, uh, her, she's going to keep the information to herself about her being Sky's mother. Yeah, but that's not the only little bit of a return. You see, uh, Coulson and Hunter, um, they decide to take one of the, I think it was on the, uh, the Quinjets that um, was owned by the real S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, but uh, their plans uh, didn't work out so well, but they got in some backup. Mike Peterson, a.k.a. Deathlock, which, I have to say, awesome to see him back. You know, I remember, I remember back in season one, before he even started, people were like, oh, you just going to, everyone was thinking, including myself, uh, was believing that he was going to be the cinematic universes for, the Marvel Cinematic Universe of Luke Cage. Which, you know, that's what everyone was thinking at the time. So it's really very nice to see him back again. And on the right side this time. So that's another good thing. I guess you can't call him Deathlock anymore since he's not part of Hydra. He needs a new name. I mean, either keep the name Deathlock or he needs a new, new code name. That's what I'm honestly thinking. But, uh, you know, you also see stuff with, um, uh, you know, the guy in charge of the real shield, uh, Gonzalez, I forget, I forget his name. They're all tr trying to figure out what's inside of uh, the toolbox, which, you know, it's the tools to help recreate shield, as we know. But maybe there's more to it than that. But, you know... 
Jenna uh, Fitz and Simmons kind of tricked them into thinking that there was a they were looking at the box differently. And Fitz, he left, and he had the toolbox with him. So, yeah. But, uh, and for uh, Hunter and um, Coulson, uh, they're going to uh, this person uh, that I guess uh, worked for Hydra that uh, kind of experimented on gifted people that uh, could uh, help them be able to find find out who this man is and where Sky could be. Which, that brings us to the preview for next week's episode, which it looks like we're going to find out exactly why May is called the Calvary. Which, um, you know, that's, uh, that's pretty much of a gist of the episode. I have to say, I thought this episode was very, very cool. You know, got a little bit of a episode going on just about afterlife. But, you know, I'm kind of wondering where the rest of this season's going to go, because we're almost, we're only like six episodes away. So, yeah. So, hopefully, hopefully with the way better improvement that the show's gotten for this season compared to last season, hopefully it gets renewed and maybe aware, awareness can finally be put out, you know, on how much better the show got in between the seasons. Hopefully. Just gotta pray to the Marvel gods. But, yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much my thoughts on the episode. Um, let me know your thoughts down below. And also, Daredevil coming this Friday exclusively to Netflix, which I do plan on reviewing it, but I'm not sure if I'm going to, on that first episode, depending on when it's up on Netflix, if it's like, oh, it's at, right at midnight or whatever time, it, because that day I work, um, I work at a late time, 2 to 11, so I may be able to fit it in before going into work, or I could do it after work because I don't have to be at work the following day until 5. And I promise you, that first episode, spoiler free. It's going to be spoiler free. So you will freely be able to express your opinions and watch it without having to get spoiled on the episode. And also, you know, maybe if I could, you know, this is always a maybe for me, you know. If other people want to kind of do a little bit of di a discussion with me, you know, I'm I'm always free to do that. You know, I could do a review and then, you know, do a discussion with other people. You know, just need to find a way for us all to like be able to record a video together, and um, you know, be able to talk amongst ourselves. Which I say the easiest way is through Google Hangouts. Which you know you need Google Plus, but yeah, that's that's just if it's not a, it's not like a set in stone type of thing, so it doesn't matter to me. So uh, that's my thoughts on the episode. Let me know yours down below, and also how excited are you for Daredevil? And if you're a person that makes videos on YouTube, are you going to review this show? Me. I'm not going to rush through it, so I'm not going to be like some people. They're like, oh, episodes one through four, five through six, you know, stuff like that. You know, I don't think shows should be rushed through with a review. Do you think? But as always, my name is Jimmy, and until next time, bye.